This is from Lori Lowenthal Marcus, the Jewish press.com. Listen to this. Proposed legislation was introduced into the New York City Council to require that the city's public schools provide Islamic compliant food, halal, as an option in the cafeterias. The New York chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations, those, that's CARE, uh, it's, uh, head, uh, it's uh, overarching group is an unindicted co-conspirator, joined forces with Council Member Rafael L. Espino of Brooklyn to support Resolution 54 at a press conference on the steps of New York City Hall yesterday. I bet you haven't heard about this. Fourteen other city council members co-sponsored the resolution. The resolution goes into explicit detail about what Islamic observant students are permitted to eat and what they must avoid eating, as well as stating who made those determinations. You want to hear the resolution? Whereas the practice of Islam is determined by the Islamic teachings as guided by the Holy Book Quran and the Hadith and sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, which includes observing dietary laws, and whereas Islamic dietary laws delineate foods that are halal, meaning lawful or permitted, and those that are haram, meaning not permitted, and whereas haram foods include pork and its byproducts, meat and poultry not slaughtered according to the Islamic dietary law, alcohol and foods prepared with and containing alcohol, foods containing blood and blood byproducts, and foods containing uh, whey prepared with non-microbial um, enzyme, rennet, animal shortening, and so forth and so on, and it goes into great detail. The proposed resolution concedes that there's no accurate way to determine how many New York City school children are Muslim, and of those who are Muslim, how many observe strict halal guidelines. The best estimate they have is approximately 12% of the school system's children are Muslim. But undeterred by the lack of hard information, the legislators pointed to the Detroit public school system, where 35% of the students are estimated to be Muslim. Did you know that? In Detroit, the school district began a halal pilot program in 2001, which has expanded to 35 schools in the district. Wow, how progressive. In addition to pointing to Detroit as a school district where such a program was implemented, the legislators turned to another argument to bolster their demands. This angle is the one best characterized as, you don't want school kids going hungry, do you? Well, can't you bring your halal lunch to school? You can't bring it to school? You can't bring your halal compliant school to lunch? A uh, 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 lunch to school? No, we insist that it be an option in the cafeteria. Oh, you see, unless a halal option is offered, the unknown number of New York City school children who can only eat halal food will suffer eating either the vegetarian option that's already offered in the school system or they'll have to bring their own food from home. And if the food's brought from home, it probably won't be hot by lunchtime. Well, by all means, then, let's turn the entire cafeteria on its head and have a section over there for halal-compliant food. Right next to the Michelle Obama starve to death counter where you can eat cardboard. Now to shore up this argument, the director of operations for CARES, this CARE is a notorious, dastardly operation. CARES New York District, Sadia, uh, uh, whatever, spoke at Wednesday's press conference about the hardship she suffered growing up in New York City school system without a halal food option. Imagine growing up in school systems in Syria. I'm just saying, whomever you are, whatever your background or Yemen, as a woman, or Saudi Arabia, or all the other countries we call paradise in the Middle East and the rest of the world where women are treated so wonderfully. Sadia really had hardship. She suffered growing up in New York City without a halal food option. She said, growing up in New York City, I, along with many Muslim students, had to struggle during lunch with not having a proper halal meal for the day. The percentage of Muslim children in public schools is growing, and too many children are denied the nutritional requirements and benefits lunch would provide because of religious dietary restrictions. As a community, we have to make sure our children receive the best education in environments uh, in which their religious beliefs and practices are respected. No child should leave a lunchroom or enter a classroom hungry. See, this is, this is the deterioration of the country. This is the destruction of the culture. We don't have halal-compliant meals in our public school cafeterias. 
You want a halal compliant meal? You bring it from home. And I don't care if it's cold. Gee, what a hardship. The hell are they doing the rest of the world? Of course, there are other students in the New York City public schools who have religious dietary requirements. That would be Jewish observant children. The New York City public schools don't offer kosher lunches, and to date, no Jewish groups have marched themselves into the New York City council chambers demanding that there be a kosher food option. Oh, they're suffering too, you know. They got to bring their kosher food in a lunch bag. It's always cold. Oh, the suffering. The victims. The victims who can't have hot, halal, compliant food in the cafeteria. The concluding clause of the proposed legislation calls for action. Rather than suggesting that a survey be done about the numbers of students who might benefit from such a program or a feasibility study on how the needs of the students could be met or even what the costs involved in such a program might be, the radical left kook city council members cut straight to the demand. Quote, whereas New York City's public schools should be required to offer lunch options that meet Islamic dietary laws, thereby ensuring that Muslim students are meeting religious standards and are not virtually excluded from the school lunch system, now therefore be it resolved that the Council of the City of New York calls upon the New York City Department of Education to provide a halal lunch menu option to students at New York City public schools. No word yet from the American Civil Liberties Union or any of the other groups that typically do a quick burn whenever anything smells of, you know, government accommodating religious requirements. CARES New York office had more news about its recent legislative activities. Oh, yes. Its press release explained that CARE New York had already lobbied the New York State Legislature to earn, uh, urge passage of S-6834. Now, that proposed law would amend New York State education law to require any city in the state with over one million residents to offer halal food options in public schools during lunch. I thought you'd want to know.